How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Yaren the yo yo Expert Mode Let's Play. So, we've got a lot to do this episode. We've, uh, we've been building up our power, we've been planting pots that I'm going to dig up right now. Some of you might be thinking, Happy, what are you doing? You've gone crazy. And yes, maybe a little bit, but uh, what we do need to do, and what I'm interested to get started, is a little bit of a nice mob farm right here on the base of this area. Um, so you remember we, we collected our two buckets of lava and that's, that's all lovely. And what we're going to do is just build a nice little, nice little wide lava trap. And then what I'm actually going to do on top of that is, and I'll just make it a little less wide. <laughs> we don't need lava everywhere. Um, actually it only needs to be, I think if it's seven blocks, seven to ten blocks wide, it won't like kill and destroy everything. <laughs> so three, four, five, six. So let's make it maybe seven on this side. And what I'm actually going to do, guys, is have a little secret tunnel underneath where we can go to collect all our loot. Um, it's going to be great. So, what do I make it? Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Campfire. Six, seven. Is that right? Is that symmetrical? We're all happy? Good. Okay. And then what I thought, and I, I can actuate this later on, is we can still use our elevator. We'll just have like a little secret passageway to it. So that, what this means is during the night time, all the zombies and all those not very nice things can go and, you know, jump in the lava and that'll be great. And we can just, you know, collect all the goodies. So, should we put the lava down? There we go. We can probably trial this during the day while we're waiting for night to spawn. So the beautiful thing about this is the mobs will fall in the lava. We should be safe up in our little yo-yo of safety. And the loot shouldn't die. Slime, you're not helping! Jump in the lava! Slime! Just get in the lava! Oh, why you do this to me? Alright, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, the next thing we need to do is build another level onto our yo-yo base. And I love what people are suggesting, like do themed yo-yo rooms and all this good stuff. So... What I was thinking too is, if we can make a weapon, yes we can, brilliant. Um, so this first one, a lot of people have said, well, it kind of represents the wooden yo-yo that you've been using. So let's put up a weapon rack. Ooh, I might, if I can remove that. Oh yes, it works, it works. Yes, yes. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay, and we still have a wooden yo-yo. There we go. So we're representing our first yo-yo successfully collected. Excellent. Alright, so what I was thinking I was doing is build a larger yo-yo up on this one, and this can represent the rally, which is the next one we need to get. So I'll make it out of marble blocks. So as always with the speed build guys, I will speed it up. <laughs> I always say speed build and then I say I'm going to speed it up, it's like, yeah, duh, happy. <laughs> um, so I'll speed it up, this one's going to be a little larger, and I'd like to fit two, possibly three NPCs in this one. Is that symmetrical? Yes, beautiful. Oh, I can't believe this works. It's going to be so good. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Oh, guys, I totally forgot. Um, I realized you can make these nice, smooth marble blocks at the forge. So I think uh, it might look a bit nicer if we make the yo-yo out of those instead. Uh, I, play I played around putting a few down, and I thought it looked a lot better. So we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, that looks so much better. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we've finished our next room, and it's actually worked out pretty well. I've managed to get 
three uh, rooms out of this next yo-yo-ish shaped um, room. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's take a little drop down here and visit our good friend, the merchant. So one thing we definitely need is the bug net. That would be very nice. Um, I think some bit more rope will most likely be handy. And running a bit low on the good old torches, so gonna grab a few of those. Um, it looks like our uh, mob farm was working pretty nicely, so let's check it out. Wow, cool. <laughs> I like it. It works pretty well. And obviously, once I get some actuated blocks, I can just put like a, a, a button that like uh, opens it up as soon as you walk on it. So that will be handy too. Uh, next on the list, probably going to have to get a bit of a... <laughs> a bit of a plant farm going. Those NPCs will move in as soon as night time comes. And thankfully they're not silly enough to jump in the lava. Okay, everyone's nice and safely moved in now, which is awesome. And I've done a bit of inventory sorting. And what I'd really like to do, I was just running around catching some worms. And I think we do need to get a bit of fishing happening. Um, I can currently make the reinforced fishing pole, which is not too bad. Eight iron bars. Because I haven't been wasting them, we're doing okay for that. So, yeah, I reckon we'll, um, we've got that amazing fishing pond right next door. And if you didn't know, you actually get a fishing bonus while it's raining. Um, so yeah, so it just makes it really worth it. Um, there's a sunflower really close by, so we shouldn't get hassled too much uh, by mobs, which is another bonus. So what do I want to get out of fishing? Um, well, you can catch quite a few crates if I'm lucky and out of one of the crates it would be nice to get the, um, what's the item? You can get those sea boots. Uh, what are they called? Oh gosh, it's eluding me. Okay guys, so we had a fun night of fishing and I've got a few crates to open but I noticed that the travelling merchant has just spawned. So let's go see what wonders and delights he has for us today. Hey Romeo, how's it going? <gasps> a counterweight! Oh my gosh. Now I know it says I've only got two but I'm pretty sure I've got some more cash in my, um, in my chest. I... Didn't want to lose all the money we'd been saving, so I might have a quick look. I know I can spend it without having it on my character, but I'd rather see it. So, do I have any money set? Yeah, cool. Awesome. Because we found that money portal before, which was super, super good. So we can actually get our first counterweight. <gasps> Angry, 3%. Oh my gosh. Doing so good. With those, I uh, might swap out the vine book for now. So now we get that counterweight. So when you hit something, it makes an extra, extra little yo-yo-y thing come out. And let's get some dynasty wood because that'll be fun for crafting later on. And anything else? No, I just made some cooked fish, so don't need that. I think that's pretty much it. Though, so that was good. Nice one. Thanks, merchant. Okay, so now we've got our counterweight, so that's buffed us up a bit more. Let's open our wooden crates and hopefully get something cool out of them. So we got four. I got bored of fishing, that's why I've still got eight worms. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, we got an extractinator, yes. Boom, boom. And we got some baits. So that's actually pretty cool. An extractinator, nice one. And some random Aussies and all that good stuff. So I might just, hmm. I really need to set up a plant farm. There's still so much we need to do. <gasps> Is that a golden? Oh, no way. How do I get it? I've got to jump on its head. Ready, set, swing. Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think they sell for like five gold or something. Or maybe even more. Let's sell it straight away and see what we get. Okay. 
10 gold. That's huge. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Okay, so I was looking for a good area to farm for Shelly's. And I just noticed going down my elevator that this brown to grey wall here signifies that we've reached the cavern layer. And there's a mushroom biome here. And what's cool about that is it'll just spawn normal cave mobs um, until hard mode, which is when it starts to spawn the, you know, really tough mushroom uh, underground mobs. So I'm pretty safe uh, while I'm setting up a farm. So what I thought I'd do is just open up the area a bit um, I'm not going to do anything fancy, and I might just put down a little lava bucket and see if we can't farm some shellies. So let's speed this up and do some digging. Oh yes, yes, we got the rally! Woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> oh goodness. That is so awesome. Wow, I think the range is a bit better. Oh, so good. Um, oh, and there's a night vision helmet too. So the farm is a bit strange. It's sort of near a... Uh, it's near the... Oh, that's cool. It's near the um, marble biome, but also it's near a granite biome, so I'm getting a bit of everything on this farm. Um, its spawn rate is not the best, but um, it's just been a matter of being patient and making little changes to it. Um, a water candle would probably help a lot <laughs> if I can make a, a desperate dash in the dungeon. Um, but for now, at least it's worked. We got our rally. I'm kind of tempted to get a second one for the trophy case, but I suppose I can put the rally, the yo-yos in as I uh, stop using them. Okay, one of the last things we need to do before we fight the Eye of Cthulhu is to get our potion farm started properly. And it gives us a good opportunity to uh, start to utilize this area underneath here. So what I think I'll do is actually create a little potion farm in like... Uh, one of these side areas, I think that'll work quite nicely because they don't actually need to be above ground to work, I don't believe. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm probably going to benefit from a quicker hammer as well because wooden one is sucky. Uh, what's the best one we can make? Is it silver? Yep, that's cool. Beautiful. And I don't believe you can sell wooden tools for anything, so let's just get rid of it. And nice. Ooh. Now the night is starting, so Cthulhu could spawn all on its own, which would be scary. So, as always with the speed builds, this is the last one for this episode, most likely. I'll get the potion farm started, and then, uh, yeah, we can just worry about fighting some bosses. It's gonna be great. Okay, so our beautiful plant room is set up, ready to go. And I'm not going to transfer all of the plant resources down just yet until I can get an actuated entryway there. Um, it's just going to be easier. Most of my good stuff's up here for now. Now the last thing uh, we, can, we can do is start preparing our arena. So, let's see, what have we got to build this out of? 
So I mostly want to use platforms, obviously. And a campfire. It could be worth going to get a heart, another life crystal, so we can have a heart lantern in our beautiful arena. But really, I think I think we should be okay. Um, and I think to the left of our base is nice open space. So it's going to be a pretty good spot to build on. So, I reckon what we'll do is just go lots of platforms. There's already sunflowers here, so that's going to save us having to muck around uh, replanting those. Um, so, I think, yeah, that, that looks about right. We just really need some long uh, platforms to run and dodge all of the Cthulhu's attacks. Um, I think the length of the arena, we should probably make it reasonably long. So I'll probably chop down these trees, we need more wood anyway. And I'll probably even out the ground along the bottom, just so we don't get caught on anything. Um, I think the first half of the fight's going to be easy enough. I think it's more towards the end, you know, obviously we don't have the benefit of just throwing grenades at it like I did in the other expert mode uh, playthrough. Sorry, butterfly. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll definitely need that speed to keep ahead of that evil, evil eye. All right. So we'll get some more trees. So I think two levels should probably be enough. I don't think we'll need much more than that. Yeah, beautiful. We can do that cool little trick where you grapple up and it gives you a bit of speed. Alright, so get rid of that. Lovely. Nice. Uh, campfire. And let's make some more... Hmm. Where are you, platforms? Is there you are? Very good. Okay. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Happy? And... There we go. Oh gosh, how long should we go? We're going to need a fair bit of... A bit of runway, I reckon. Ah, stop falling off it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that should do. That should do. And then... Let's make another one. I'm just thinking. I normally make them too close. So let's make it where I have to grapple up to it. Yeah. That looks pretty fun. Cool, cool, cool. So that way, yeah, it gives you room to jump and dodge. And then if I need to grapple up... Yeah, that works pretty nice. It's working in my head. <laughs> I don't know how it'll work in reality, but uh, that remains to be seen, doesn't it? Whoa, too quick. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching another episode of our Yaren the Yo-Yo Let's Play. Okay, so we've done a lot of setting up this episode, and I have a feeling that we will not fight just one, but two bosses next episode, because I find... Once you've done all your setting up, the boss fights sort of flow into each other really well. Um, so yeah, so I have Cthulhu, most likely going to fight the Eater of Worlds as well. So it's going to be really good. Can't wait. Can't wait to get started. For those of you wondering about Expert Mode, that's going to be back very, very soon. Probably within the next day. Um, just been, you know, just been really jumping into the Yo-Yo series. But I know some of you are waiting for that to come back, so it will be back very soon. Alright, time for some shout-outs as always. And I just need to say thank you so much to the overwhelming amount of people that asked for shout-outs. Um, I think you all know I only do about five or six an episode, so yeah, just keep, keep asking for them, and hopefully yours will get drawn out very soon. Okay, our first one is from Suspicious Windmills. And they've just asked me to remind everyone that uh, make sure you've got your replies turned on in uh, the comments. A lot of people are asking questions and myself and other people go to reply to you and all you've got is the thumbs up or thumbs down button because you've got replies turned off. So <laughs> I can give you a thumbs up, but I can't really answer your question. So yeah, just check it quickly. I think you just go to your YouTube setting menu and you can turn on your replies from there. So, if you take the time to write a really long question, make sure you've got your replies turned on, or you kind of, yeah, it's, it's, you're not going to get an answer, it's that simple. Okay, uh, our next one is from Chris Benoy, and they've asked me to say, in a narrator voice, like on those um, uh, documentaries, he's asked me to say, and here we see our majestic panda slowly approaching the cookie. 
<laughs> That's awesome. I love watching docos. They're so cool. <laughs> All right, our next one is from D Man Dom, and he's asked me to say in a uh, zealot voice from StarCraft. Um, if any of you have played that, I used to play it so much. He's asked me to say uh, the zealot uh, quote, which is "My life for cookie." <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, he doesn't say cookie, he normally says Aya, which is where the uh, Protoss are from, which is the race of warriors in that game. It's like Warcraft, but Starcraft. <laughs> okay, our next one is from Acid Hand 1082 And they've asked me to say in a party girl voice, they've asked me to say, I like cookies! <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Acid. And, and our last one is from Water K.3. And they've asked me to say in a Gavin's voice, they've asked me to say, I'll be back. With lots of cookies. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's awesome. All right, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode. We've done so much, and a lot of it's been with your help. So thank you so much for the suggestions. Um, yeah, leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Uh, keep those comments coming. Let me know what you want to see in our builds for the future. Uh, Yarin, the yo yo uh, episodes. There's, you know, a lot of the stuff I'm building is because you guys have asked for it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HC icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. We do lots of fun stuff on our channel. And we are zooming along, guys. We are. We're almost on the way to 70,000 subs. This is amazing. You guys are amazing. Don't ever change. Keep smiling. Here's the most important part. As always, you all stay happy. And I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!